fraction we know that a fraction shows part of a whole it is denoted by numerator and denominator for example this number can be read as 2 by 3 the numerator denotes the part of the whole the denominator denotes the whole for example in this number 4 by 7 4 is numerator and 7 is denominator now let us see the different types of fractions proper fraction a fraction in which denominator is greater than the numerator it is called proper fraction for example 4 by 5 3 by 7 9 by 15 etc improper fraction a fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator is called an improper fraction for example 3 by 2 3 by 3 and so on mixed fraction fraction in which there is a whole number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction look at the example 4 1 by 2 9 3 by 5 7 4 by 7 and so on like fractions fractions having the same number as denominator are called like fractions look at the example 2 by 9 3 by 9 6 by 9 7 by 9 and so on unlike fractions fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions look at the example 2 by 5 6 by 7 8 by 9 and so on let us learn the addition and subtraction of like fractions addition of like fractions here is an example 4 by 9 plus 3 by 9 is equal to how much the above fractions are called like fractions because they have the same denominators as the denominators are equal let us add the numerators that is 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 as the denominators are same let us take it as a common denominator that is 7 by 9 therefore 4 by 9 plus 3 by 9 is equal to 7 by 9 subtraction of like fractions look at the example 7 by 9 minus 4 by 9 is equal to here is the principle difference is equal to numerator of first fraction minus numerator of second fraction by common denominator of the two fractions this problem can be solved as 7 minus 4 by 9 is equal to 3 by 9 equivalent fractions look at the picture from the given picture we can say that 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 at the same time it is equal to 3 by 6 as well as 4 by 8 therefore these fractions are called equivalent fractions multiplication of fractions the value of fraction does not change by multiplying its numerator and denominator by the same number look at the example 2 by 4 into 2 by 2 is equal to 4 by 8 in another example 3 by 6 into 10 by 10 can be written as 3 into 10 by 6 into 10 is equal to 30 by 60 which results in 3 by 6. Therefore, we can say that the value of the fraction does not change when both numerator and denominator is multiplied by the same number. Division of fractions if the numerator and denominator of a fraction is divided by the same quantity the value of a fraction is not changed for example 40 by 50 
divided by 10 by 10. This can be written as 40 divided by 10 by 50 divided by 10 is equal to 4 by 5. Another example 40 by 50 divided by 5 by 5 is equal to 40 divided by 5 by 50 divided by 5 becomes 8 by 10 which results in 4 by 5. Therefore, we can say that 4 by 5 is equal to 8 by 10 is equal to 40 by 50. To get the lowest terms of a fraction, we divide with the biggest factor of the numerator and denominator. Have an example here. 32 by 40. For this fraction, 2, 4, 8 are the factors of the above numerator and denominator. So let us divide the numbers with 8. 32 by 40 divided by 8. This can be written as 32 divided by 8 by 40 divided by 8 results in 4 by 5. Therefore, 4 by 5 is the lowest term of 32 by 40. Points to remember. The fractions having numerator less than denominator are called proper fractions. The fractions having numerator greater than denominator are called improper fractions. The fractions with whole number and a proper fraction are called mixed fractions. Fractions having same denominator are called like fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions.